So this is Garrett Thomas, and I'm here to talk to you about Profile and Skewer. Uh, there is no better magic than magic that is done with objects you can carry with you. Uh, sadly, one of the better effects in magic is done with something that uh, is very strange to put in your pocket uh, and to carry around. Uh, when you see a mentalist bend a fork, people go nuts and it's crazy, you know, they react big, but why a fork? Why not just any piece of metal? And that's what Profile does. Profile is a, a, a great effect that you can carry with you using a tool that magicians always use, a uh, half dollar. With this half dollar, you can actually bend the metal and get the same reactions that you would get while bending a fork with just a simple coin. Of course, whenever an audience sees a coin, they think it's just going to disappear and go behind their ear. But now you're going to turn the world upside down on them and show them something strange, uh, even weirder, with a, a half dollar. The people that know me the best say that this is one of the most visual pieces of magic that I do. It's very few tricks that we do where the magic actually visually happens. Here they actually swear that they saw the metal get melted uh, as your finger pushes into the coin. <laughs> if you just bend a fork, they, they might think that, well, that's just, you know, the energy and that's, you know, that's, you know, people can do that. Here, it's a very strong moment of magic, something that you can carry with you everywhere you go. I put it in my pocket, it's always on me. Uh, anytime I see someone, do a quick little coin trick, maybe make the coin disappear, come back, and I go, wait, wait, let me show you one more. Oh my God. And then just focus on this moment, your finger melts in. There's no explanation but magic. God! You better stop it! There's no explanation but <laughs> You know, this is an illusion, this is magic, this is beautiful. Uh, it's a moment that can't happen any other way. This alone gets huge reactions. Then, when you turn it around and show that it's a, a little bit of an art piece and they get to see the Kennedy profile on the half dollar pop out, it's a really beautiful illusion. And it's just as strong as bending a fork. The reactions are huge. Uh, the other effect that you get, uh, the skewer effect where you push your finger through, um, is equally strong because of its bizarre nature. It looks so unbelievably impossible. When they see this moment, when they see your finger penetrated through a coin, it, it's just not what they were expecting. They, just, they did not think that this visual moment would ever exist. Their mind plays tricks on them, whether your finger is going through the coin or the coin is going through the finger because of the way this coin is made. The, the off-center cut allows for the illusion of melting in and out and left, right, up and down. It's a new way to look at a finger through coin gimlet or karate coin. So on this DVD, uh, you're going to get a lot of information. Uh, I don't just teach how to do any one trick. I teach many different ways to do it and why. Why you choose one or, over the other. Uh, with each type of uh, effect, profile and skewer, you have four different ways of getting into it. How to switch into the, the effect and how to switch out of the effect. Uh, how to keep the trick going in your own skill level. And then it gives you something to do right away. And then as you grow, you might be able to take it up a notch uh, so to help you and encourage you to uh, further your magic. The whole thing is that I want you to be prepared to go different directions with your magic. Both of these effects start the same way, but in the end, you get to choose what ending you want to put on it, what uh, exclamation mark you want to give it. So with Profile and Skewer, the way I use it is a standalone effect. However, uh, it would be a great twist uh, to end any coin routine. Uh, you're taking the, the coin magic and it kind of puts like this emphasis that it's done uh, because there's nothing else you can do with the coin, you've destroyed it. 
Uh, you've made the coins vanish, go place to place, and sadly a lot of coin magic is all about transpositions, where a coin's going to vanish from here and going to go over there. But now you could take your coin magic to another level, have this twist ending where instead of the coin jumping from place to place, you've melted your finger th into the coin and pushed the profile out, or you could melt your finger straight through your choice. A lot of different ways to end this, but it definitely says, ta-da. It says, hey, this is over, and it's a great applause cue.